it's not a new thing. This is not something that just came around in the past like two or three years. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison and this is Curls and Squats. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about intermittent fasting. So I posted a thing on my Instagram story, <laughs> on my Instagram story a couple weeks ago about how I'd made like my longest fast yet because I've been doing it since the beginning of the year. And a lot of people were asking me a lot of questions and because I did a lot of research going into intermittent fasting and it wasn't just like a random thing that I decided to do, I figured I would make a video and just answer some of the questions that I was asked. I kind of want to break this video down into three parts all in like one video. So first I want to talk about what is intermittent fasting and what are some of the health benefits of it. Second, I'm going to talk about how intermittent fasting can help you lose weight. And then the third thing I wanna talk about is how I made intermittent fasting work for me and my lifestyle, and some tips on how you can make it work for your lifestyle. Just to get one thing clear about intermittent fasting though, it's not a new thing. This is not something that just came around in the past like two or three years. It may be prevalent now because of social media and the access and the reach that people have to other people with knowledge and information, but intermittent fasting has roots way back in our ancestry. Think about it like as far back as hunter-gatherers, they didn't eat three or four times a day. They didn't eat at 6 a.m. and then eat all the way until like nine o'clock at night. They hunted and gathered throughout the day and then they would build a fire and cook usually maybe like one to two meals a day. And that's just how they survived because it's how they had to. They didn't have means to have quick access to food. They didn't have refrigeration. They didn't have all of the stuff that we have today. Even think as close back as like the prairie days and when like farming was a super huge way of life in the United States. Farmers would typically wake up and work through the morning. They would get everything ready for the day and then they'd be awake for maybe like four to five hours before they ever ate and then they would eat breakfast. And then at the end of their day, they would have a pretty early dinner and go to bed, therefore fasting. Because like I said, they didn't have the technology that we have today. This is the way that our bodies are kind of programmed to run uh, based on like genetics and history. Um, this new founded like refrigeration and microwaves and takeout, fast food, all of that is very new in the time scale of like human existence. So our bodies are not necessarily supposed to be having access to food all day. Your digestive system does need a rest. It just does. It doesn't need to be like constantly working. That's not the way that, yeah, fix anything in my opinion based on scientific research. So what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is not a diet. It's not a plan that tells you what to eat. It is simply a cycle of time periods when you eat and when you don't eat. For instance, I do 16, eight intermittent fasting. So I fast for 16 hours a day and I eat for eight hours a day. There are a lot of different ways that you can break up your fasting and eating windows, but that is what intermittent fasting is. It's just different windows of eating and fasting, eating and fasting. One other common way other than the 16-8 method is like the 5-2 where you eat your normal caloric intake, your normal eating hours throughout the day for five days a week. And then for two days a week, you eat like at one time about 25% of what you would eat on any other day. So that could help you lose weight potentially. So typically fasting is gonna be anytime that you're not eating for more than 12 hours or at minimum 12 hours and in that 12 hour process and beyond, you see many health benefits. So before we get into the health benefits of intermittent fasting, I wanna make it super clear that I'm not a doctor. I am a certified personal trainer, but that does not mean I'm a doctor. I did not go to med school. I just kind of did some research and these are the things that I found that are potential benefits of intermittent fasting. One, you can have increased heart health by reducing the levels of, lo of bad cholesterol in your body. You could also have decreased inflammation. You could potentially lose weight, but we'll get into that later. You become more insulin resistant because your insulin sensitivity is increased or made better. And it could potentially, potentially result in some like anti-aging, which, you know, I'm young now, but I won't be young forever. So 
gonna get on it now while I can, right? So coming back to the weight loss, I wanna to talk to you about how intermittent fasting can potentially help you lose weight. First and foremost, I want to say that the only way to lose weight is to be in a caloric deficit. That is to say that you have to be eating fewer calories than your body is burning throughout the day. Not just burning while you're working out, but from just living. Your body is burning calories nonstop at a slower or faster rate depending on the rate of your metabolism. To lose weight, you have to be in a deficit. So intermittent fasting can potentially help you lose weight because a lot of the time, whenever you do like a 16-8 method fast, you're going to be eating fewer calories because you're essentially skipping a meal. If you find that you are consistently maintaining weight or that you are gaining weight consistently, intermittent fasting may be right for you because if you do skip out on a meal, I don't, I don't like using that term, but if you cut back on your calories, you're gonna lose weight. And if you have a shorter eating window or shorter period of time that you can eat throughout the day, you will likely eat less. Now there comes a flip side to this coin because you don't want to be under eating. You don't wanna use intermittent fasting as a way to restrict your calories. I highly recommend pairing this with some other eating plan or eating program, whatever you feel comfortable with, to make sure that you're getting all the right nutrients for your body, to make sure that you're not under eating, but if your goal is to lose weight, just to stay in a caloric deficit in a healthy way. For instance, I pair intermittent fasting with the IIFYM type of deal, and I am planning to do a whole different video on like my macro split and how I got my body morph and like calculated my macros off of that. But I still track my food pretty regularly within my eating window to make sure that I'm hitting my protein goal first of all because I don't wanna lose muscle mass if I lose weight. And to make sure that I'm not like under eating consistently because when I first started intermittent fasting, I wasn't tracking my food. And I found once I started tracking that I would have super high days and super low days when it came to calories, kind of based on what I was doing but making myself be aware has kept me at a normal, like even level basically. So my weekly average is typically lower, which means I am consistently losing weight as the weeks go by. So just to kind of walk you through my typical day of eating, I will typically start eating around 11 a.m. It depends on what time I get done fasting. And I am a huge breakfast food kind of person. So I will typically have like eggs or a breakfast type of smoothie deal um, or like a protein shake first thing and then eat throughout the day tracking my food just kind of depends I don't typically meal prep I have plenty of time to cook I work from home for the majority of the day and so I don't always know exactly what I'm gonna be eating throughout the day which is kind of like a drawback but it helps me to figure out what can I make work to fit in my macros to fit in my calorie levels and then so I start eating around 11 a.m. and I typically will stop eating around 7 o'clock because that gives me an eight-hour eating window and then I will fast for a minimum of 16 hours now I like to keep this flexible I think that's one of the best things about intermittent fasting is that you can make it work for you and your lifestyle I don't fast every single day I will typically take one to two days off per week of fasting just to give my body a break so that it doesn't adapt to it and become used to it like I said I usually fast for a minimum of 16 hours and sometimes it's more um, I try not to go less because if it's less to me like that doesn't count it's kind of like a game um, to make sure that I'm sticking to my schedule so some days if we like go out for dinner or if I just eat like at maybe like 5 30 and then I'm not hungry again around 7 and I've hit my goals then my fasting window will like shift back and forth um, I try not to eat for more than like eight and a half hours maybe if I have like a weird shifted like two days or three days um, and I try not to make my window less than six hours because like I said I'm really trying to hit my protein goals I know for me personally it's hard to digest more than like 30 grams of protein at a time so I have to give my body like an hour between like bouts of protein intake so that I don't get bloated and tired and ugh feeling you know that's how I make it work for me now how can you make intermittent fasting work for you like I said, it's super flexible. And my number one tip with most things, fitness and food, is to use some trial and error here because 
just because eating from 11 to 7 works for me and my lifestyle does not mean it's going to work for you say you like work nights or you have like a swing shifting rate two in the afternoon to like 10 o'clock at night you want to make sure that your body is fueled properly for the activities at the times that you need it to be fueled and you want to make sure that you're eating at a way that doesn't make you unhappy. You wanna have a good relationship with food. I want you to have a good relationship with food. So just trial and error. I use an app called Zero, and this is not sponsored. I use an app called Zero to track my fast, and it lets me say, I feel great, or this was hard after every single fast. It tells me how long it's been since my last fast. It'll tell me how long my average fasts are. And it has a bunch of different resources on the different types of fasts and it has a bunch of different options so that you can set goals for yourself on different kinds of fasts so you can try different things until you figure out what works best for your body and your goals as always i really hope that you enjoyed this video i will hopefully be more consistent in my posting now um Make sure that you follow me over on Instagram at MJ Knowlton. I post workout videos and thoughts on fitness there all the time. And check out my blog at curlsandsquats.com for everything else, including online coaching and personal training. Like I said, personal trainer, not here to like plug that. But if you're interested in that, that's where you can find it. Everything will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of whatever this is. Bye.